Ah, uh, Windows. Founded in 1985, billions of people use Windows for all sorts of things, from browsing the internet, checking your email, listening to music. Yeah, we're gonna skip all that. Um, you guys read the title, I'm pretty sure you get the point. Also, this mic isn't even connected to anything, I just thought it would look cool for the YouTube video. So anyway, yeah, here are five Windows programs that you need or something. You don't need them, but it makes the video much better. Number one is Flow Launcher. So this adds a little quick launcher that you can access by pressing Alt plus Spacebar on your keyboard. You can search through your files and launch programs by just typing them in and looking them up. It's just way easier and faster to navigate your PC using just your keyboard rather than having to swap your hand between your mouse and your keyboard because that's, that's too much work. Away. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, Flow Launcher is the whole reason I'm making this video. The rest of the video is just filler so I can make the video long enough to put mid-roll ads. But it's not just files and programs. You can do a quick Google search, you can use it as a calculator, you can search your Steam library. The rest of the video is pong too, by the way, I was just kidding before. You can also paste URLs and automatically open them up in your browser. You can kill programs without having to go to your task manager. You just open up Flow Launcher and type kill and then search for the program that you want. If you type in S, you can search through your Windows settings without having to open up the Windows settings app. And they even have a plugin store to add even more features. My favorite one is the YouTube plugin. So if you type in YT, you can search through YouTube and have the results show within Flow Launcher without you ever having to go to YouTube itself. And it's super customizable too. They got a bunch of different themes you can install. And I just love that little sound it makes when you open the launcher, the little I would highly recommend that you also install the program Everything. Now, I'm not counting this in this list, but Everything is a separate program that you can install that makes it way faster for you to find any file you want on your PC. And Everything is directly integrated with Flow Launcher. You just have to make sure that you have Everything installed. The program is called Everything, by the way. I'm not actually asking you to install everything on the planet. Make sure it's running, then go into your Flow Launcher settings, plugins, Explorer and then change all of your search engines from Windows Index to everything. And after you press Alt Spacebar, you can search for any folder you want and it's super fast. Speaking of folders, you can also navigate through folders by pressing the tab key. I could go on and on about Flow Launcher, but I won't because I don't want to anymore. Thanks VIP SGD Keys for sponsoring this video. If you just set up a new PC, you can get a Windows 10 license on VIP SGD Keys for as little as $16. Just make sure to use any secure payment method like PayPal and use my code NUTTY at checkout to get 25% off. They'll send you an activation code right to your email. It's pretty instant. You just pay for it and then the you just get the email like straight away. And then you can just take that code, pop it into your Windows settings, and then your Windows will be activated instantly. And then using those keys, you can upgrade to Windows 11 totally for free. Or if you want to skip that whole process, you can also get a Windows 11 Pro key for $22. Thank you VIP SCD Keys for sponsoring this video. Now onto the rest of the list. Number two is Power Toys. And no, I'm not talking about the one in your mom's closet. I'm talking about the one made by Microsoft. So this one is good. And it's actually a bunch of tools wrapped into one. One of the features is a simple color picker tool. So if you press Windows Shift C and hover your mouse over anything, it will show you the code for that exact color. And then if you click, it will show the color in several different formats that you can just copy and paste into whatever tool you want, like Photoshop, or VS Code or your MySpace page. But my absolute favorite feature is Fancy Zones, which is basically like a better version of the basic window snapping. You know when you drag a window to the left and right of your screen and then it like snaps? It's, it's like that, except way better. You can set up predefined zones individually for each of your monitors. And then if you drag a window while holding the shift key, 
you can just drag a window to the zones that you want and then the window will snap to that zone. For me, I've got this big 4K TV and I've made six different zones. So when I'm like navigating through a bunch of different folders or I'm editing a video, I can lay out all of my different folders so I can see them all at once. I would say this one is a must have if you have a huge monitor or an ultra wide monitor. I actually really like this if you have a vertical monitor set up because Windows kind of sucks with snapping for vertical monitors. But Power Toys has way more features. It's got mouse without borders built in so you can control two PCs or even four PCs with just one keyboard and mouse. You can also press control space bar on any file within Explorer to quickly preview them for like images and PDFs and stuff like that. I would recommend that you turn off quick accents though because that can interfere with some of the games that you play and also turn off Power Toys Run because that's pretty much the same thing as Flow Launcher, except just not as good. Number three is Stature.io. It's a, it's a YouTube downloader. I don't know how much more interesting I can make this for you guys. Yeah, there's probably a million ways for you guys to download YouTube videos, some weird obscure website that you have heard about. But what I like about Stature.io, uh, what did I write down here? See, it's not just any other YouTube downloader. It has some pretty unique features too. For example, if you're downloading just audio, you could automatically set the cover art for the audio file. You can download the metadata, like the description, the tags, the thumbnail. You can include subtitles, even the chapter markers that some YouTubers like to put in their videos to make them easier to navigate, like I put in my videos. You can have those chapter markers in the video so that when you open them in VLC, you can, you can see them. It also integrates with sponsor blocks so it can detect if there's a sponsored segment in the video and just cut that out of the download. So when you download the video, the final video will have that whole section just cut out. I love that if you add a playlist URL, it will add all of the videos in that playlist so you don't have to go through one by one adding them yourself which is really good if you're trying to back up your favorite YouTube channel because you never know when your favorite YouTube channel is going to be gone forever. You know, last week I put the word anal in one of my videos on the VODs channel and you never know if YouTube's just going to ban me and all my videos will be deleted. Number four is fan controller. So this one allows you to set up individual fan curves for all your fans in your PC. If, I don't even care if this one's a good one or not because you're already this far in the video. So like statistically, you're more likely to watch the rest of the video at this point. I'm surprised it took so long for someone to make a good fan controller app for Windows that actually looks nice. Jay's Two Cents did a really good video on this program, but it will go ahead and detect all of the fans in your PC. So all the fans for your CPU, your GPU fans, even your case fans. And then you can set up a fan curve depending on the temperature sensors inside your computer. So you can set it up so that your PC is whisper quiet when you're only doing stuff like browsing through Reddit. And then when you boot up Starfield at max settings and your PC starts to get warmer, the fans automatically kick in and go go faster. And you can set up different profiles too. So if you want to have a profile optimized for silence and then another profile optimized for gaming performance, you can set up different profiles for that. But the reason why I wanted to include this program in this list is because I found out a way that you could connect fan control to your stream deck. So you can use your stream deck to control the fan speeds on your PC, which I thought was super cool. I actually made a YouTube short about that a while back. So you can click on it up here if you wanna watch that. The last one is a game changer, especially if you're a content creator. It's called Pi Win Context. This one allows you to make your own custom right-click menu options within Windows to do anything that you want. And admittedly, this one is a little bit like for the nerds out there. And that's why I left it to number five. But as a content creator, I'm finding myself constantly doing repetitive tasks, specifically converting video files. I'm always converting video files from MKV to MP4 or getting an MP3 file out of an MP4 file or converting a video for Twitter because Twitter has very specific format requirements. So instead of opening up a file converter to do all of that, I just added these right click menu options. So if I have an MKV video, I can just right click on that 
and select the option to remux that into MP4. And I just do that and it just automatically does it. And it's super fast. Don't have to open up any separate programs to do that. And I get to choose whatever I want to be in the right click menu. If I wanna take a 4K video and compress that down into a 720p 30 video, it's just a right click menu option away. Now, unfortunately, uh, this one will take uh, an entire YouTube video to explain how it works. So um, I don't really feel like doing that right now. Maybe I'll do that later. But for now, I'm going to link you to a video from EpostVox that uh, shows you how to use this. This is how I even found out about this program. It uses a lot of command line stuff. So anything that you'd run from the command line, you can add as a right click menu option. So if you convert a lot of files using FFmpeg, uh, then this is gonna be great for you. If that sentence didn't even make any sense to you, I'm sorry. Maybe you can come to my Twitch stream and ask me what that meant. But uh, yeah, that's the video. This video had nothing to do with streaming. I'm trying something new here. So um, if you like this video, then yeah, do all of the things that uh, other YouTubers tell you you should do as a viewer. Um, also, I have Patreon. So if you like giving money away to random strangers on the internet, you, you can do that. Uh, you can get some custom made widgets for your Twitch stream, such as this one. It's like an animated camera border that your viewers can play around with using channel points. We released that a couple weeks ago. Anyway, thanks guys. I'll see you next week.